Although snow, ice, and outcrops of jagged granite rock make up around 80% of the Jungfrau Lech landscape, 529 species of durable vascular plants and mosses can be found here. Mother Earth's monumental masterpiece, Swiss Alps Jungfrau Lech. Continue watching to find out more. Здравствуйте means hello in Russian. I am Vadim, the generous people of the Chukotka Autonomous Okrug. Thank you for your love and care of the precious planet. Welcome to today's program entitled Mother Earth's Monumental Masterpiece Swiss Alps Jungfrau Aletsch The Swiss Alps are recognized as one of the most spectacular mountainous regions in the world. The Jungfrau Aletsch region is the most glaciated part of the European Alps, spanning over 82,000 hectares or 316.6 square miles. It is located in the southwest of Switzerland. Jungfrau Aletsch boasts many impressive peaks, nine of which stand at over 4,000 meters or 2.5 miles in altitude. The Jungfrau Aletsch region became the first Alpine UNESCO or United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization World Natural Heritage Site in 2001. The Swiss Alps Jungfrau Aletsch region has not only played a significant role in European art, literature, mountaineering, and sightseeing, but it also offers immense wealth of geological information regarding glacier and alp formation, as well as the natural ecosystems unique to the area. With global warming resulting in an alarming amount of unnatural glacial retreat, ongoing scientific research in the area is also considered to be of paramount importance. One of the highest peaks, Jungfrau, towers 4,158 meters or 2.6 miles above sea level beside the slightly smaller peaks of Eiger, which rises 3,970 meters or 2.47 miles high, and Munch, which reaches 4,107 meters or 2.55 miles. Together, the trio eternally guard the Swiss plateau below them, form a shimmering white wall of ice. The Aletsch Glacier is the largest and longest glacial area of the European Alps. This frozen river begins its long winding 23-kilometer or 14-mile descent from an altitude of 4,000 meters or 2.49 miles. Measured at almost 1 kilometer or 3,280 feet thick at various points, the glacial ice melts to feed crystal clear water into the Rhone River. Although snow, ice and outcrops of jagged granite rock make up around 80% of the Jungfrau Aletsch landscape. 529 species of durable vascular plants and mosses can be found here. And Norway spruce and Swiss pine trees are plentiful in the valleys below. The Jungfrau Aletsch region is also full of animal life. There are plenty of mountain goats, like the alpine ibex, or the steinbok, as well as the chamois. The lynx is very much at home chilling on the glacial hillsides, along with a number of red deer and smaller mammals, such as foxes, hares, stoats and squirrels. Almost 1,000 separate insect species have been recorded in the region. The 99 species of bird that have been identified here include the rock thrush, 
rock partridge, great spotted woodpecker, golden eagle, as well as boreal and pygmy owls. Indeed, this vibrant environment is full of life. Going back to before the 19th century, the impressive natural phenomenon of the Jungfrau Alec region remained virtually unexplored, with human activity limited to only the hardiest of mountaineers. The first complete ascents of the Jungfrau and nearby Finster Ahorn peaks were recorded in 1811 and 1812 respectively. These days, tourists are fortunate to have much easier access and can conveniently take a train from Wildersville in the valley below to high up in the mountains. The journey takes less than three hours and is considered one of the most scenic railway journeys in the world. The Jungfrau York station is the highest railway station in Europe. It was constructed on a mini plateau right between the peaks of Jungfrau and Munch at an altitude of 3,454 meters or 2.15 miles above sea level. This amazing feat of railway engineering began at the end of the 19th century and uses a special tooth train ratchet mechanism to safely perform the rapid and steep incline to Jungfrau York. Another unique feature of the Jungfrau Alec train journey is the built-in observation windows within the tunnels of Mount Eiger that surprise travelers with splendid views. These observation caves have been carved into the granite inside the mountain to give visitors the rare experience of seeing the rock formations that make up the giant peaks of the Swiss Alps. This magnificent orogeny is the fold in the Earth's crust and the result of an ancient tectonic plate collision that occurred scores of millions of years ago. The force of the collision caused large-scale change in the Earth's geography as evidenced by ocean sediments discovered on the top of Jungfrau. Let's pause now to appreciate these beautiful Alps. We'll be right back here on Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Mother Earth's monumental masterpiece, Swiss Alps Jungfrau Alec. Scientific research began in the Jungfrau Alec area as soon as the railway was completed, with the construction of an observatory on a peak known as the Sphinx, 120 meters or 394 feet higher than Jungfrau York train station. The observatory has been used to perform a variety of scientific functions in the last 100 years, including the measurement of solar flares and cosmic rays, how various organisms function at high altitudes, air pollution and CFC or chlorofluorocarbons measurement, and weather observation. The Sphinx Observatory is an impressive sight its shining metallic exterior offsetting the magnificent whiteness of the formidable mountains which frame it. Best of all is the view. One of the highest observatories in the world, the Sphinx Observatory has the second highest observation platform in Switzerland. Furthermore, the UNESCO World Heritage listing for the Swiss Alps Jungfrau Alec has enabled vital scientific research within this unique environment. The impressive valley formations of the Swiss Alps have been created by the natural cycles of cooling and warming within the region over many eras. Although most glaciers on Earth do naturally melt and form rivers, the studies clearly show that glacial retreat has accelerated in recent years due to global warming, fueled by the abnormal release of greenhouse gases such as methane and carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. At the current melt rate, it is estimated that the alleged glacier could be 90% diminished by 2100. This beautiful glacier is not only home to rare animal and plant species, but is also an important source of drinking water for Europe. Since 1870, the glacier has retreated approximately 3 kilometers or 1.86 miles. According to Swiss historians, local records show that only 30 years ago, the glacier was actually expanding. Dr. Martin Steinbacher, 
The MSA Chair of ICOS, or Integrated Carbon Observation System, Atmosphere Monitoring Station Assembly, shared his observations on climate change from evidence gathered at the Jungfrau York Greenhouse Gas Measurement Station in Switzerland. I feel really privileged to work up here at such a beautiful and unique place, which is also part of the UNESCO World Natural Heritage. The climate change is visible here, for example, when we look at the glacier, just down here, the Arledge Glacier, the longest glacier in Europe. At the thickest place, it has around 900 meters uh, thickness, but it still it loses around 0.6 meters per year on thickness. I really feel that our long-term records here become more, more and more valuable the longer they get. Every day we, we add more data to that, and in the future, if we can continue doing these measurements, they will be even more valuable. All information concerning the scientific evidence of climate change and its solution is in Supreme Master Ching Hai's book, From Crisis to Peace, free for download at crisistopeace.org. In recent years, the Swiss government has organized initiatives to raise awareness about global warming and the deterioration of their beloved landmarks. One such event was organized to coincide with the COP24 in Katowice, Poland, and encouraged all humans to take more responsibility for climate change. A giant postcard was compiled with 125,000 individual messages from children all over the world expressing their views on climate change. This now sits on the Elech Glacier, covering an area of 2,500 square meters or 26,900 square feet, at an elevation of 3,400 meters or 2.1 miles. In 2013, a project team from the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich installed an intricate network of sensors on the Elech Glacier. Besides gathering important data in the study of the glacier's retreat, it also acts as an early warning device by detecting rock slope instability, a risk intensified by unnatural climate changes. Supreme Master Ching Hai has frequently addressed the need to be responsible stewards of our irreplaceable planet through the vegan lifestyle as in the following excerpt from the Act Now for a more peaceful and safer world conference with former Philippine President His Excellency Fidel V. Ramos. If we uh, reduce the um, livestock raising, then we can reduce all the toxic gases that is, uh, you know, lingering in our air right now. And if we go organic vegan, then everything will be back to no more before and even better. The weather will become better. Not only the ice stop melting, the toxic gas will be reduced, hunger will be eliminated, war will be done with, but also our planet will revive itself and will become even better than now, more lushful, more plentiful more abundant for all to enjoy in clean air, peace, love, good health, and long life. Our deep gratitude to the Swiss government, international scientists, groups, and individuals working to protect the magnificent Swiss Alps Jungfrau Alec with prayers that all people may quickly be veg, go green to save the planet, we depart Jungfrau Alec refreshed by the pure air and in awe of the profound beauty Mother Nature has blessed us with. For more information on Swiss Alps Jungfrau Alec, please visit jungfraualec.ch Delightful viewers, thank you for your gracious presence today. Coming up next is American Bison, naturally self-giving and resilient, right after noteworthy news, here on Supreme Master Television. May your hearts flourish with compassion and faith evermore. 
programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash nb.